In this tutorial, we will discuss how to create, modify, and delete HTTP redirection records using the DNS Made Easy control panel. An HTTP redirection record is a unique way that you can redirect your HTTP traffic to another URL. This URL can be to an FQDN in your domain or to a totally different domain name. An HTTP redirection is accomplished by combining DNS with an HTTP redirection server. First, an A record is created in DNS to point your traffic to the redirection server hosted on the DNS Made Easy network. This redirection server is an HTTP application server that specifically looks at incoming HTTP requests and then does a forward to the final destination. Second, the necessary logic is added to the redirection server to analyze and forward the traffic to the correct URL. Since the HTTP redirection servers only listen to HTTP traffic TCP on port 80, only HTTP traffic will be redirected. This is why you cannot use HTTP redirection records to redirect other types of traffic such as SMTP, FTP, or other protocols. For instance, if you have an A record for the fully qualified domain name or FQDN, www.example.com, pointed to an IP address for your web server, you can then create an HTTP redirection record that redirects end user request for http colon slash slash example.com to http colon slash slash www.example.com. Creating, modifying, and deleting HTTP redirection records in DNS Made Easy is a very simple process. First, click on Manage DNS under the DNS tab on the main menu. If you have recently modified the domain you want to work with, you can easily choose it from the recently updated domains list. If your domain is not listed, type your domain into the Managed DNS search box. A list of matching domains for you to choose from will appear once you enter the first few characters of your domain name. Alternatively, you can enter your full domain name and press enter. In this example, we will be working with the domain example.com. Once your domain is loaded in the control panel, select the records tab if it is not already active. The records tab provides an easy to view grid layout for all of your record types. This grid will show your HTTP redirection listing in a paginated view where you can easily customize how many records you would like to view at a time. To create an HTTP redirection record, click on the plus sign that is associated with the HTTP redirection records section. For this record, we will be creating an HTTP redirection record that directs all traffic, for example.com, to the destination URL http colon slash slash www.example.com. We have previously defined www.example.com as an A record pointed to the IP address of our web server. If you require any assistance in creating an A record, please watch the video tutorial Working with A Records. We will leave the name field of the record blank as this record is being created for the root or apex record of the domain name. It is already assumed that you are creating the record for example.com, so you do not have to enter the domain name in the name field. In the URL field, we will enter http colon slash slash www.example.com. You can enter any valid URL you want. This final URL can contain multiple folders or slashes and can even redirect to an HTTPS URL. The only requirement is that you cannot redirect an FQDN to itself or to another HTTP redirection record. In this example, we will select a redirection type of Standard 301. Standard redirection sends your domain visitors to any website you specify. The final address of the destination website will appear in the end user's browser. The end result is users that type HTTP colon slash slash example dot com into a web browser will be redirected to HTTP colon slash slash www dot example dot com and this address will display in the web browser address bar. 301 redirects are best for search engine optimization or SEO. Using a standard 302 temporary redirection from example.com to http colon slash slash www.example.com means that although the page is temporarily redirected, 
The preferred address to be used in the future remains example.com. 302 redirects should primarily be used for temporary redirections. Frame masked hidden redirection sends your domain visitors to any website you specify, just like standard redirection with one difference. The destination URL will be displayed in a framed HTML page, so your domain continues to display in your visitor's browser when they reach the website and while visiting any page on that website. As soon as you click Submit, that record is now added to all of the DNS Made Easy name servers worldwide, and the redirection logic is added to the DNS Made Easy redirection servers. If you would like to add additional records at this time, you can do so by modifying the appropriate values and clicking on Submit. We will now add a second HTTP redirection record. We will redirect news.example.com to http colon slash slash www.cnn.com. In the name field of the record, enter news. It is already assumed that you are creating the record for example.com, so you do not have to enter the domain name in the name field. In the URL field, enter http colon slash slash www.cnn.com. We will select a redirection type of hidden frame masked. The result will be that users who type http colon slash slash news.example.com will be redirected to http colon slash slash www.cnn.com. However, http colon slash slash news.example.com will display in the web browser address bar. Another feature of HTTP redirection is that visitors can enter subdirectories after your domain. You can choose to disable this for your domain by enabling the hard link option. With the hard link option enabled, anything after the FQDN is ignored and the user is taken to the URL you specified. The title, keywords, and description are for the frame masked redirections, though optional you should include this information in the interest of increasing SEO. Modifying HTTP redirection records in DNS Made Easy is very simple as well. You can double-click on any of the records and your modification window will immediately appear for you to make any necessary changes. As soon as you click Submit, that record is now updated on all of the DNS Made Easy name servers worldwide. You can then use the navigation on the bottom left-hand side of your modification window to cycle through, review, and edit your other HTTP redirection records. Alternatively, you can select a row that you would like to edit from your HTTP redirection record grid and click on the pencil icon. This will also open your modification window where you can make all appropriate changes. Deleting HTTP redirection records in DNS Made Easy is done by selecting the record that you would like deleted and clicking on the trash icon. You can delete one record or multiple records at one time. If you ever need detailed help or examples about the data types that are available for each record type, make sure you click on the Help button that is found on any of your record entry or modification windows. For our full support knowledge base, please visit http colon slash slash support dot dns made easy dot com for more tutorials and lessons on using dns made easy please visit http colon slash slash help dot dns made easy dot com